Aurélien Chouamini remains a name on everyone's lips, Jules. What's the latest? I really believe this week that the uh, the move to to Real Madrid will be will be done. Uh, we knew there was a few little details that Real Madrid were also rightly so focused on the Champions League final, which they won now, and then Florentino Perez will take over. The, the the well, you know, the club will finish off. I think the what they started. He wants to play for Madrid. That's there's no other option for him. So I it's believe a pretty crowded midfield there that he's walking into there. I mean, Kroos is 32 years old. Modric is 36 years old. Even if Modric gets another year, which he will. Yeah, but you got Camavinga, you've got Valverde. Exactly, you've got. Really, then say the same about Luis Diaz or you know, Jota. Or then then there's never a new cycle coming in until everybody leaves. I think. I think it's perfect. Mm-hmm. I think it's good timing. Even with the World Cup, he's going to play maybe not every single minute of every single game, but and he's great for the future of Real Madrid. Even Perisic is in London today, Gab, and he's expected to sign a two-year deal with Tottenham Hotspurs as a free agent. And he's 33 years old. He's 33 um, years old. I think given that it's free agency and given that it's a two-year deal, given this is what Conte wants, obviously Conte worked with him at Inter when they yeah. won the title. Like he had a tremendous second half of the season, especially. He's fit, he's, he's hungry, he's angry. I can deal with a short-term free agent signing. It you know, goes generally against my policy if this is what Conte wants. Against your policy, yeah. Interesting, I think, is going to be to see, does he play him as a wing-back or do we see him occasionally in part of that, uh, part of that front three? Also interesting, yeah. uh, there was reports in Italy that, he, uh, that Spurs actually offered less money than what Juventus offered him. Uh, not by a lot. But this, I think, shows that, that he really, really wants to go um, and, and, and play for Antonio Conte. So, you know, he, Conte, I think, asking for, what, six signings was the story that yeah, was out yeah, there. So he ain't going to get six, but, you know, Antonio, One on. is, is me. One down, five yeah. to go. Maybe not such good news if you're Sergio Regulon. Romelu Lukaku's people say that he's open to a loan move from Chelsea. Gab, is this really realistic? I think it's, it's realistic in the sense that if... He and Tuchel have a talk over the summer, and Tuchel says, "You're not in my plans." Yeah. Uh, then, I think a loan. Already, the fact that they're talking loan move suggests that Chelsea know they can't sell him without taking a massive loss. So, loan move, shop window, work something out. He'll become like a. It'll become like a Morata situation yeah. already linking to Inter. Obviously, big wages. You'd have to work it out. I think it probably is doable. Inter will have a, a salary slot available, obviously, with oh, yeah, of course, yeah. Uh, with Sanchez and Vidal moving on, and you know if they can kind of usher Jeko out, he's got a year left. But if they can kind of usher him out, stays left. I don't think that would be a bad thing. No, um, why, not? why not? The one thing I wonder about from Chelsea's perspective, and I know I banged on about Lukaku all along, Tuchel signed off on Lukaku. Chelsea don't have any other. If you talk about center forwards, like real center forwards. Unless you want to go down the Armando Brogia route, uh, maybe one day they will. They don't have a guy That's like true. that. And That's then true. we can put Havertz in there and have this endless debate about Havertz, but then you still need a backup. Or you want Timo Werner to be like the little type of guy. Yeah, it yeah. doesn't, it's weird. And I think Chelsea need to think long and hard about whether this is really the wise choice. And then Hazard played just 83 minutes, Gab, in Real Madrid's Champions League campaign. But the fact that they won it, reportedly means that Chelsea will collect a cool £15 million bonus. So when we add it all up, the transfer fee and etc., selling him to Real Madrid three years ago seems to be the greatest moves in Chelsea history, right? I, I, honestly, when, when this goes Incredible. back, he had one year left on his contract. Now, the, the, the value of the transfer, depending who you talk to, is anywhere between 80 and £110 million. Yeah. I don't know, some people count in the bonuses or whatever, but this is really the gift that keeps on giving. And it's not a knock on Eden Hazard, who's one of my favorite players. No. He's been really unlucky with injury, could have gone very different in Madrid. But from Chelsea's perspective, and I say this again and again, when a player has a year left on his contract, and so often, it just makes sense to sell because it's going to cost you more to keep him, yeah. especially if he's in his late 20s. And they've done pretty well without him as well. So, you know. Exceptionally well. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+.